Today is the Oso Retro Show. <laughs> We've got Esther parked in the field. My mum used to have a Cavalier like this. Mark Van Escort, Pinto in the bay. Loving the little model spinning around on the air filter. Very interesting steering wheel. Loving the pattern on those seats. Oh my God, never see these anymore. And it's rocking a gold MH Decker. Woody hanging on for dear life. Mint CVH. Check out the Renault 5 GT Turbo. Late arrival. Check this weird thing out. Chain steering wheel. Budweiser pump handle gear stick. Check and flag roof. Gold mini lights. Loving the orange color coding. Mark II Golf with a tent on the roof. Really special. This show is nuts. The Supercharger V8. Sit up and beg pop. Camper. Carbon fiber. Best one I've ever seen, to be honest. World famous Mike FPE. Do we start the burnout here? Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Marcus Hayes, this is my beautiful girlfriend Kat, and this is Esther, my ST170 powered Mark 1 Escort. You join us from outside our hotel, where we stayed here last night in Margate. And as you'll know if you watched the last video, today is the Oso Retro Show. Now uh, Esther is already warming up, and despite the rain last night, the puddles inside weren't too deep. And I have just given her a dry off, she was covered in rain hasn't dried very well, if we're honest. But yeah, she's ready. Now we might have time to find a jet wash at a garage and maybe buy some new microfibers or a new drying towel to dry her off a bit better. But uh, I think our first priority is grabbing some breakfast. So let's jump in and hit the road. Apparently there's about 1,500 cars and bikes at this show. And uh, from the photos I've seen in the past, it's definitely mini and VW Beetle and VW Bus heavy. But yeah, hopefully there'll be loads of classic Fords as well. Oh no, it's shut. Oh, what? Just about to have my first McDonald's breakfast in ages, and it's shut. All right, so we've settled for a sandwich from the local Sainsbury's petrol station. Got a little bit of a pre-Oso retro car meat over there by the looks of it. But um, we're gonna head straight to the show and get ourselves in the queue. We've made it to the queue and it looks like we've come the way that some of the guys were saying to come when we had that little meet yesterday because um, there's a bigger queue on the other side of the road. So uh, yeah, this is looking good. Uh, no. Hey, Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, man. <laughs> the anoraks hate it. <laughs> All right, we've actually been here for quite a while. Already been chatting to Mike FPE and Mark Two Mitch and his dad Keith. Shout out to you guys if you're watching. But yeah, this show is massive. We've got Esther parked in the field over here, right next to this G60 Mark II Golf. Next to Esther, I've got this Sunbeam Alpine. This reminds me of uh, Phil the Plumber's Sunbeam Alpine, where we used to live. A couple of Mark III Fiestas. Really cool Capri with a V6 in the bay. Opal Cadet, I think. Don't shoot me if I'm wrong. And yeah, past the Celica is this old Cavalier. My mum used to have a Cavalier like this back in the day. And next to that, Iconic VW bus, definitely a few of them here. Just opposite Esther, we've got this Mark One Escort. Looks absolutely mint. Sitting on really deep Lotus style wheels, pretty sure they're banded. This one's actually for sale. Really cool Capri sitting on what looks like BBS style rims with a straight six lump in the bay. Not sure what that is. Huge turbo on it though. Modana Green RS2000 Mark One next to that. Pinto in the bay running on side drafts. Really interesting place to put the oil catch can. Mark II Fiesta next to that. With a, is that a ZTEC SE? 
Not sure. Got Recaro's in it though. Voxel Victor next to that. And Austin Allegro next to that. Old Granada next to the Allegro. And a really cool old school mini. Gonna be seeing loads of them today. Yeah, there's cool cars everywhere. We literally have only moved a few yards from where Esther's parked next to the 944 Porsche. Got a really nice 1600 GT Mark I. Of course, with its cross flow in the bay. Loving the little model spinning around on the air filter. This guy's actually looking for a Type 9, if anyone out there's got one. Next along, Mark I Cortina, painted up in the Lotus colors. Again, with a cross flow in the bay. And next to that, Scimitar, which I think have a three litre Ford V6 in them. Another really cool VW bus. This one's got like a crew cab and a pickup at the back. Some sort of old Lotus. Really smart looking Mark II Jetta on BBS rooms, of course. Next to that, a Sierra Estate and a little Caterham kit car. A couple of old MGs over here and a 1300 GT Mark I. Check out the very interesting steering wheel. Another VW bus. Morris Marina, haven't got a clue. And a really cool Mark II Fiesta with Z Tech in the bay. And then throttle bodies. Over here, we've got a TVR 350i, which is actually the chassis that Gary Ball used for his fiberglass shelled Mark I. Really interesting looking bright green mini with some sort of custom bonnet on it with the air intake. And uh, next to that, a couple of old school Beatles. Check out the bright orange four door Mark II Escort. Looks really cool sitting on these deep dish. JBW rims, ST170 lump in the bay, and check out the custom interior with the orange piping. Some huge speakers on the parcel shelf. And round the back, got a rear window louver and the RS spoiler. Loving this super slammed old school Beetle. Guessing it's on air ride. Park next to that, Saf Cozzy. Check out the bling Cozzy YB setup in the engine bay. Check out the Mark I Jetta. That's really cool. And a couple of cars down, we've got another bright orange Mark II, this time a two-door. Loving the pattern on those seats. Very original looking beige Mordor Mark II over here. And next to that, yet another old school Mini. Pretty sure this is the Mustang that the guy showed me on his phone yesterday. That was the uncle of the guy that was at the Hornby meet with the Oldsmobile. Oh my God, never see these anymore. Uno Turbo. Part next to yet another Mark II Fiesta. But yet another old school Beetle. This one's sitting on huge rims. Check out the arch extensions. But next to that, we've got the Mark II Fiesta that came to my little meet yesterday. This thing looks so cool, sitting on the gold mini lights. But apart from the mini lights, it's actually completely stock and it's rocking a gold MH decal. Well, so far, this is definitely my favorite old school Beetle. Carbon fiber bumpers, really cool rims, Corby bucket seats and TRS harnesses. Full cage, looks like it's dry sumped. Next to that, yet another old school mini. Another Mark I Escort, it's on the Mexico with its cross flow in the bay. It's actually running on side drafts. Really cool AirTech Rad as well. And next to that, Mark II Golf with its obligatory BBS rims. Got a Woody hanging on for dear life on the back of this 1275 mini. Check out the Mint Orion with its Mint CVH. Running on a set of side drafts. Part next to that, a Capri. Two very familiar Mark II Fiestas over here. This is Mark II Mitch's. This is his dad Keith's Mark II Fiesta van. Next along, really cool looking Mark I Cortina. Nice Mark II Escort next to that. And we're getting close to copyright music. Check out the Renault 5 GT Turbo. Really cool yellow color coding in the engine bay. Not sure if that's the original Renault 5 engine. Loving the custom interior. It's got nitrous in the back. Awesome thing. Late arrival. Looks like a bit of an old Nissan and Datsun section over here. Check this weird thing out. Looks like it's been built from a Beetle chassis. It's definitely got a Beetle bonnet anyway. Basically a tubular chassis with wood on the side. A pair of bucket seats. <laughs> no real dash to speak of, although it does have a holder for your mobile phone. Fuel cans and uh, a box for your ammo. And yeah, engines in the back. As I say, I'm imagining it's based on a Beetle. Yeah, that's uh, strange, but cool. Check out the beige four-door Mark II Escort gear. Brown interior. It's obviously got the wood on the dash and stuff with it being a gear. Yeah, there's a few cool cars in this little section. A couple of old school minis next to a, another really low old school Beetle. And another old school Beetle next to it. Come back past the Escort gear. I've got a really cool old school Mini over here with the bonnet up. 
can see that it's running on side drafts. Capri S next to that. Mark 1 Golf convertible next to that. GTI Mark II. Over here we've got the XRV Mark III Fiesta that we saw at the Hornby place yesterday. It's got a 1.8 diesel lump in it. Really thought that this would have a turbo CVH in it when I saw it yesterday. But next to that, an old school Nova. Check out this modified Mark III Cortina. Jacked up at the rear end, which is a thing they used to do back in the day. It's got side pipes, some sort of weird seat covers. Check out the chain steering wheel. Budweiser pump handle gear stick. That's mad. And a rear window louvre. Got a row of really cool Fords along here that I had to show you. Check out the five door Mark IV Escort. CVH lump in the bay running on down drafts. Loving the stainless manifold. Sparco bucket seats. Aftermarket steering wheel. Yeah, loving that. Next along a Mark I Escort RS2000 with a HPE Pinto in the bay. Running on side drafts. Loving the checkered flag roof and checkered flag door cards. And it's on the dash as well. Really cool Momo steering wheel on it. And sitting on mini lights. Next along a black Mark II. Looks really cool on the gold mini lights. Check out the engine in the bay. Pinto lump on side drafts. Loving the airbrushing on the rocker cover. See a HPE badge. This is HPE Pinto powered as well. Another one with Sparco bucket seats. TRS harnesses. Next one along is really tidy. Four door sitting on the RS style rims. The HPE crossflow in the bay. On side draft Webers. Loving the HPE stainless exhaust manifold. That's a really, really tidy engine bay. Mint original looking interior. This thing's stunning. It's got the wood on the dash, so maybe it was a gear originally. That is mint. Next along, another HPE powered car, this time 100E, bright orange, with a Larry HPE crossflow in the bay. Again, HPE stainless manifold, running on side drafts, loving the Alley Rad. The orange colour coding in the interior, TRS harnesses, love 100E. I oh, look, we're getting a better look at the interior. That a really smart man. Loving the orange colour coding throughout. But it goes all right with that Harris lump in it as well. 165 at 6,000 revs. Nice. Really nice install in the boot as well. Ralloy shaped alley tank. Battery in the boot. Really nice facet fuel pump setup. Very smart. A whole row of various aged VW buses. But next to them, Mark II Golf with a tent on the roof. Check out the Zach Speed arched Mark II. Looks like an absolute beast. Sitting on bright orange rims. Yeah, loving the kit on this. Huge front spoiler. Loving the carbon bumpers in the engine bay. It's got an SR20 lump. Awesome, this thing's properly caged, all gusted into the pillars. Proper racy cockpit, buckets and harnesses. You can see a carbon or Kevlar carbon floor protector panel thing in there. Obviously this car is linked, it's got the battery in the back. What an absolute weapon. Carbon rear spoiler, carbon bumper. That is really special. GMC truck over here. How's that for an advertisement on the door? Another really cool Mark II Escort over here. Looks really cool with the front spoiler on it. Sitting on a set of the RS style alloys. And really tidy Recaro seats in it. Bubble arched Castro liveried Mark I Escort. Really cool plate on it as well. And next to that, a really clean Mark I Fiesta XR2. This show is nuts. There's just too many cars here to even get round, let alone choose which ones to film. Yeah, another row of cool Fords here. Mark I Cortina, Corsair, really cool Capri Laser. Check out a Capri next to that. Jacked up at the rear end, huge rear tires. Supercharger V8 in the engine bay. More Escorts, a couple of Mark Ones. And we've got a couple of Estates over here. This was the one that stopped briefly at my meet yesterday. And then the white one on Air Ride that stopped for a bit longer. Got a whole row of Golfs here, mostly Mark IIs, extends all the way over here, but check out this Mark I Golf. Love the colour. Of course, it would be sitting on BBS rims. Check out this really, really smart engine bay. Not sure what engine it is, but there is a little turbocharger back there. And yeah, really loving all the polished pipes. Really, really clean. Over here, we've got a Mercedes 190E Cosworth. But this one's got an actual Cosy YB in the bay. Gotta admit, I had to just Google 190e Cosworth engines because I was pretty sure that the Mercedes Cosworth engine didn't look exactly the same as a YB but yeah that's clearly a Sierra YB in the bay really cool idea for a project how's this for a lineup really cool silver Mordor Mark II part next to that injection Capri another silver Mark II this time a two-door Harrier with a silver top Z-Tech in the bay 
and we've got a 289 Mustang. But next to that, check this out. 2000 GT Mark I Capri, beautiful engine bay. Pinto lump, running on side drafts. We'll have a little peek into the mint interior. Love a Mark I Capri. Here's the Mark I Fiesta we saw at the Hornby place yesterday. Now with its roof rack reinstalled. The owner was telling me yesterday that they took the roof rack off because they didn't want it to fly off when they were driving down the motorway. Definitely looks better with the luggage on the roof rack, on the roof. Check out the wide arched Peugeot 106. It's actually rear wheel drive. We'll have a look at the engine in a minute. But yeah, proper stripped out racy cockpit proper cage in the back and yeah absolutely loving the wide arches on it check out the power plant cozy yb awesome huge intercooler loving this sit up and beg pop the engine bay there's a cross flow on a twin choke weber loving the blue hoses and ht leads as well check this out for a mark one transit sitting super low i'm guessing it's on air ride some sort of wide arch kit on it in the engine bay is a hemi v8 lump really really clean build this check out the custom black and red interior and if we look in the back it's actually got a bed not sure if that folds down to become seats whenever you want but yeah got a dance floor in the back wide rear arches as well and we will have a nosy in through the back door the ultimate custom mark one transit check out this really cool f1 ford pickup parked next to this really cool F100 pickup with some sort of airbrushing on the bonnet. Park next to that, another sit up and beg pop. Got a V8 in the bay. And park next to that, what I think is a Model Y. Also with a V8 in the bay. This one's a Chevy lump. Got a row of old polos here, loving the rims on that bread van. Saw this square headlighted bread van yesterday, along with this red one. Another white bread van there. Got a coupe over here. Another bread van there. And then check out the rat look caddy. Continuing the Volkswagen theme, we've got the blue recovery truck that was our hotel. Another old VW bus. This one's a pickup. Here's the blue Derby that was on the back of that recovery truck. And next to that, a really cool Mark II Fiesta. I'm guessing it's an XR2. And next to that, a really cool Mark II Escort four-door gear. Well, this thing's mad. Some sort of American car, not sure what it is, but it's obviously on hydraulic suspension, all jacked up so we can see the rear axle. I'm loving the chains to stop it going up too far. There are so many minis at this show. Huge row of them here. Check out this purple thing with a really mad wide arch kit on it. And in the engine bay is a Honda VTEC lump. People are putting Honda lumps in everything nowadays. But yeah, gotta get a look around the back. Mad roof spoiler. Look at those really weird rear spats behind the sit up and beg that we was looking at a little while ago. We've got another sit up and beg pop. Check out the really smart V8 lump in the bay. Loving the two air filters on the side of the plenum. Really cool alloy rad in there. Really, really smart interior. It's got a roll cage in it as well. Check out this Olympic blue Mark I Escort. Got all the RS stripes on it. I was just chatting to the owner. It actually used to be an 1100L. But nowadays, it's got a Duratec lump in the bay. I've seen the dyno sheet for this. It's at 302 horsepower. It's running a Quaif 60G sequential box. Full cage, pair of Sparco bucket seats. But if we look down here, we can see that it's got a clutch pedal stop. And that is similar to how I'm going to do Esther's. At the moment, she's got a temporary rubber thing stuck to the bulkhead. The owner of this Escort actually messaged me with pictures of his clutch pedal stop. Yeah, I've already bought some bits to do something similar. But yeah, this thing's awesome. Obviously in the correct colour. Check out the boot set up with the shaped fuel tank, fuel pumps, dry sumped. Got the battery moved to the boot. I'm guessing that will be like a breather for the dry sump system. One thing that's really interesting about this car, even though it's running over 300 brake, it's actually still on leaf springs. It's on an Atlas axle, but it's not linked or anything, but the owner is gonna be upgrading to a four link with a Watts linkage kit. So six link basically. But yeah, loving that. And part next to it is another really cool Mark I Escort in orange. And it's RS2000 down by the badge. Check out the Mark I Escort camper. It's got RS2000 decals on it and it's sitting on the super wide RS style JBW rims. But yeah, these things are mad. The roof actually extends up. I think that might be the bed up there, not sure. 
come around here and poke my camera in the back. But yeah, check that out. Awesome. Got three Bond bugs at this show. <laughs> literally everything here <laughs> well it is a very familiar mark ii fiesta seen this drag weapon before it was actually on the stand at the ford show at santa pod although when i was running around with my camera <laughs> the owner was busy ragging it up and down the quarter mile in the engine bay is a andy harris built crossflow this thing is very close to running its first 12 at santa pod over here we've got an anglia that was at my little meet yesterday with its larry crossflow in the bay yeah love this thing makes all the right noises. And then next to that, I think this is a Mark II Escort that was gonna come down, belongs to a guy called Matt, if I remember rightly, the ST170 lump in the bay. Now, here's an Anglia that quite a few people have been talking to me about, including Mike FPE. If you look in the bay, it's got a Smith & Jones lump in it. I think these are 2.5 litre, but yeah, they're NA four-cylinder engines based on a Cosi, but they are, you know, completely made by Smith & Jones. Kind of like how a Millington is, but yeah, I think this thing's making about 350 brake if I remember rightly, but awesome thing, loving the wide arches. Sitting on what look similar to Revolutions, but I don't think they are. Might be wrong, plastic windows, all stripped out inside with one carbon fiber bucket seat. Very minimal dash with a <coughs> digital screen, proper cage in there. What an absolute animal. And then part next to that, a really tidy Mark II Mexico. Sitting on some sort of compromotive rims, loving those. Absolutely mint inside, loving the yellow pool ball gear knob. Not sure what seats they are. Maybe roll top Recaro's, not sure, probably wrong. Got an RS steering wheel. ST170 lump in the bay, love that. Really liking this Nova with a boot. Love the color as well. Really, really nice rims on it. Check out the green interior and wooden steering wheel. Seen this old school Beetle ages ago to me. It's probably the best one I've ever seen, to be honest. Into the cockpit, carbon dash. Bucket seats and harnesses, proper cage in there. Loads of carbon fiber around it, including the bumpers. Really like that sort of front splitter. This is uh, the radiator for the cylinder heads here. Um, you know, custom made fuel tank here. All the wiring got a devil's own water meth injection there. So yeah, it's just so uh, tidy it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's cool when the uh, front isn't taken up by an engine, isn't it? <laughs> it's actually got a Porsche lump in it. This thing's beautiful. Wherever you look, it is pristine. Again, carbon bumper. Yeah, you can see the turbo and that better through here. Nah, proper weapon, man. Love it. I'm sure it upsets the anoraks, which is something I can really appreciate, but yeah, love that beetle. Really cool to see it again. Well, people are slowly starting to leave the show. We've just grabbed ourselves an ice cream. But yeah, this show is vast. I don't think we quite got round it all. Um, almost got round it all, but yeah, everything here and loads of it. Yeah, loads of cars now leaving the show. Going to be a massive queue to get out of here, no doubt. Yeah, there's one car I definitely want to film before we get out of here. This beast of a Mark 1 Fiesta that belongs to the world famous Mike FPE that's over there. It's running a compound turbo ZTEC setup. You see the two turbos there. Quite recently had all this ceramic coated to help with engine temperatures but yeah everywhere you look on this thing it's just aggression loving the front splitter with those rod things <laughs> wide arches really cool rims i think mike's got quite a few sets of really cool rims check out the side exit boom tube exhaust really really lively cockpit loads of gauges on the dash loving the orange roll cage Got the ducts on the rear quarter windows going into the charge cooler radiator around the back it's got a perspex rear window that he's had to strengthen with these strips of metal yeah you can see all the ducting going into the back there really cool spoiler usually has lettering on the rear spoiler but he's on for the clean look at the moment yeah absolute weapon passenger doors open so we can have a better look at the cockpit Check this thing out. All right, after a quick chat with Mike FPE, as we were watching some of the cars leave, it's time for us to jump in Esther and make a move ourselves. Catch uh, some clips of the cars going past as we make our way back to Esther. Mad, there's so many cars here that even though loads and loads and loads have gone past us, there's still hundreds here. The show is vast. <laughs> Hands down the best show of the year anyway.
queue doesn't look too long, although there's so many people getting out of here at the same time. People have been going out in, you know, little groups at a time. Do we start the burn out here? I prefer you don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer you don't do it. <laughs> All right, next on our agenda, I think, is to grab some munch. Yeah, I really wanted to send it on the way out. I can't believe they had like stewards lined up. It's like they knew. We have made our way to Ramsgate and we've got Esther parked here, sitting pretty in this marina check out all the boats the guy with the anglia that came to our little meet yesterday and we saw him at the show today has recommended an italian restaurant around here got to keep my italian girlfriend happy with some italian grub So after that lovely Italian food, we're now gonna make our way back towards London, which means for the first time today, we can get Esther on some A roads to give us some full throttle blasts. And just like that, we've made it home from our epic weekend in Margate. I definitely reckon the Oso oh Retro Show is the best show that I've been to this year. It was just so vast and there was such a wide variety of cars on display. And to be honest, even though it wasn't you know, a Ford only show, there were still loads and loads and loads and loads of classic Fords to check out. What you've seen in this video is honestly just a tiny snippet of what was there today yeah there was just too much to even get round let alone film everything so yeah i want to send a massive thanks out to the organizers of the oso oh retro show and yeah it's definitely one that i'll be coming back to in the future i was actually approached by so many people today that watch my videos which is always awesome i like to prioritize that sort of thing when i go to the shows and yeah I love chatting to you guys, so if you do ever see me out and about, definitely come and say hello. And yeah, got to catch up with some familiar faces today as well, like Mark 2 Mitch and his dad Keith, Mike FPE, and Kieran with the Little Red Fiesta. So I hope you enjoyed the footage that I was able to capture today. I definitely reckon that for at least the next few videos, I need to be focusing on actually working on my cars. Got loads of bits to do to Maud and Esther. And at some point, I really do need to dive back into the latest project, Heidi, my other Maud All Mark II Escort. I think next, I'm going to be cracking on with Maud. I've got loads of bits to do with her. But within the next few weeks, 
I need to fit the new AL development cylinder head to Esther, which should net me another 20 or so horsepower. And she's actually already booked in for another rolling road session with Chris Todd. So yeah, definitely need to get around to doing that. So that's all I've got for this video. If you did think it was any good, please do give it a thumbs up and a share. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Click subscribe if you're new to keep up to date with all my future uploads and check the links in the description to my social media, my own website, my Patreon. I'll also leave my email address in the description for anyone who wants to contact me. But other than that, until next time, from me and my beautiful girlfriend Kat, who has just made us both a lovely cup of tea, obviously in Marcus Hayes mugs. Thanks for watching.